Welcome to my channel, if you are new. Hi, hello. My name is Rachel, and I am an intermittent alternate day faster. Of course, as soon as I start talking, the dog starts moving. He's gonna stare at me as I do this because he thinks I'm talking to him. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Rachel. I am an intermittent faster and I have been doing it for about seven and a half months now. My goal is to go a whole year, but the point of me filming this video is to talk about how much pounds or how much weight I have lost in the seven months of intermittent fasting and talk a little bit about my journey and my struggles and answer some questions that you guys have sent in to me that I can answer. Obviously, why else would I've asked you to send them in to me? If you are not new here, some of these questions you guys will recognize if you did send them to me. Thank you for sending them to me. You also know how these vlogs go. I'm kind of all over the place and lots of things happen. Like if my neighbor lets his dog out, she'll start barking. Bowser may start barking. I might get distracted. My camera might shut off. We know how these things go. I'm a mess. So if you are new here, now you kind of know a little bit about me. Currently, I am on the second part of week 33 in my vlog, so that'll be going up tomorrow. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, so if you'd like to stick around and watch my journey on my weight loss, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I have recently been published in an article by Pop Sugar Fitness along with several other amazing girls who have had awesome transformations with intermittent fasting and so this is kind of me telling my story. I have been wanting to film this video for a while now and those of you who've watched my blog probably hear me say something about it like every week like I'm gonna film that this week I'm gonna film it and I never have so here I am filming that vlog. I guess we will go ahead and get right into it then. If you see me looking down, I have notes that I'm gonna be looking at because um, I get kind of nervous in front of a camera and forget stuff easily. So that's what this movement means, just a warning. The first question that I personally get is, so what do you do? How do you do it? How do you do intermittent fasting? And what I always send everybody is a template that I've had saved in my phone. And the reason that I do this is because I get asked it almost once a day by people online. So this is what I tell people that I do for intermittent fasting. I intermittent alternate day fast, meaning I eat every other day between the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. You can do it between whatever hours you want. On my eat days, I like to make healthier food choices, but in all honesty, you can eat whatever you want on an intermittent fasting style of eating. I do, however, eat between my TDEE, which is my total daily energy expenditure, or the amount of energy you burn while being active, and my BMR, which is the basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories that you burn while resting. So basically, if you lay in bed all day and don't get up and move around, that is the amount of calories you burn during the day. I use a calorie counter to stay in between those two numbers and I also have a calculator that I can link down below so you guys can see where I go to get those numbers. On my fasting day I drink just coffee and water and that is it. Typically black coffee but sometimes I'll add a little bit of creamer if I'm feeling feisty but I've really become accustomed to drinking just black coffee so that's what I do. And then I drink water throughout the day and I have two been drinking a cup of hot chocolate at night when I get home. It just kind of helps me get through the days. It's sugar-free, 60 calories, and that is the only calorie consumption I have through the whole fasting day. Now, some people will eat up to 500 calories on their fasting day without it breaking your fast, technically. I choose not to do that unless I absolutely have to, and then I feel really guilty about it. That's just me, though. I'm really hard on myself. So that is the first question. What do you do for intermittent fasting, or how do you do it? And that's what I tell them. The second most asked question I get is how do you keep from overeating? Well, honestly, whenever I look at my calories and I see, okay, I only have this much calories left for the rest of the day, I make a decision there and then, okay, I can't eat that because if I eat that, then I'm gonna go over my calorie count and then this fasting thing won't work for me. How do I avoid food on my fasting days? That's another big question I get is I stay out of the kitchen or I distract myself. I have a lot going on in my life right now. I'm currently in the process of trying to move from my apartment to a home and I really concentrate on that more than anything. I also watch a lot of Netflix. So if you guys have any good shows, drop them down below. Cause I like that. Another big question I get is, do you ever feel weak on your fasting days? And the answer is no, I don't feel weak. However, I am tired a lot and I don't think that has to necessarily do with fasting. I think that just kind of has to do with me. I get up at 4.15 in the morning for work and then I uh, 
I'm there until about four o'clock every day. So that's a long day. And then I go to bed at eight, but regardless, I've also been told it's my age. I'm about to turn 25 and we're not gonna talk about it. I get the question, how long do you fast for quite often too? And honestly, I fast between 38 and 40 hours. So if I stop eating, typically I'll stop eating dinner about 7.30. So I'll stop eating dinner, I'll go the whole day to the next day, which is 24 hours, and then I go until the next morning. So usually I break my fast on my eat days at about nine o'clock in the morning. So depending on how I'm feeling the next day, that'll be anywhere from 38 to 40 hours in all. I get asked, do you switch days or are you consistent? And the answer is I am consistent. It is an every other day form of fasting for me. So I will eat one day and skip the next. And it is like this and it's been like this for the past seven and a half months. Now there are days like the holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving were both on fasting days that I said, you know what? I am not going to waste this opportunity on some turkey and stuffing. So I went ahead and I ate. And honestly, I tried not to beat myself up too much about it because it's time to spend with your family and you don't want to miss an opportunity. If you skip a whole feast just because you want to lose a little bit of weight, it's really not worth it. And that took me some time to realize because I wanted to spend time with my family and I wanted to be able to eat and enjoy the food. And so I did and I've still lost as much weight as I have eating on those two days. I kind of mentioned this earlier and that's what are your sleeping habits. Like I said, I'm in bed by 8 o'clock every night and up by 4.45 every morning. So honestly, I'm tired all the time. But like I said, I don't think that has to do anything with fasting. The eighth question that I have written down that a lot of you guys like to ask is when did you start noticing weight loss? Well, I'll include a picture here. You can kind of see how a month passed by and there was definitely a little bit of progress. However, personally, I still struggle every day noticing weight loss on myself. And I have lost, and I'm not gonna tell you guys yet how much I've lost, I'll put that later on in the video and it'll probably be in the title, so it doesn't really matter. But I've lost a amount of weight that I know that there is a difference. I just really struggle with myself seeing that difference. It's definitely there though, and I have noticed it. I'm just in really bad denial. One of the other biggest questions that I get about fasting is, do you work out? And honestly, for seven months, I did nothing. I came home and I sat on my couch and I watched TV and lost as much weight as I'm gonna tell you guys here in a minute. But just recently, at the beginning of this last weigh-in, which was on the 5th, I decided that I was gonna start using the C25K app and running on the treadmill. So that's what I've been doing, and um, I'm not as consistent as I would like to be. Some eat days, like yesterday, I was too busy and I couldn't do it, or I get home and I don't want to do it, and so I don't, but, I think this is gonna be a big step for me is to continue running because I have run longer and without as much difficulty as I have in the past whenever I was doing this app, which was about four years ago. So I've definitely made a lot of progress with intermittent fasting to be able to run like I am now. And that's really exciting to me. I have a lot of people ask me, what will you do if you gain it back? Or do you think that you're gonna gain it all back? And the answer is, I don't know. I really hope not. I have seen a lot of people's results with intermittent fasting that I've researched online and they have been able to keep the weight off. And I know that I'm gonna start being more physically active, something that I've always struggled with my entire life. But whenever I move, I'm gonna have a power rack and I'm also going to have a treadmill that I'll be able to use every day and focus on actually being more active and healthy. And I'm super excited about it, especially with the fact that I can run now. Being able to lift and do weights and stuff like that, I think that that's gonna be a major benefit to me. And um, now I know kind of what I need to do to be healthier and keep the weight off. I only have a couple more questions left that you guys have asked me that I feel necessary to answer. The next one being, do you reward yourself whenever you get to certain goals and weight? And the answer is, I tell myself yes, that I do reward myself because I will buy new clothes. But then again, I have to have new clothes. I gotta wear clothes or um, I'll go out and I'll do something that might be something that I wouldn't have done before. And I'll use that as an excuse and say that I'm, you know, actually using this as a reward. For example, my boyfriend and I went to Colorado about a month ago and I used that as a, this is my six months trip. Like I've been fasting for six months now, I'm this much weight down, like I'm super excited, let's celebrate type of thing. We also just wanted a vacation though. 
so I mean there's that too. I don't necessarily reward myself every time I hit a goal weight. I think the biggest reward will be the end one and um, I already have a plan. I want to get a tattoo and my boyfriend and I are also planning on going somewhere with the beach so that might just be a vacation too though. <laughs> I've kind of mentioned this a few times already, but the next question I get is how long have you been fasting for? It was seven months on the 5th of April, and I honestly feel like it's not been that long. I feel like it's been a little bit shorter, and then whenever I look back over time, I'm like, oh yeah, I was fasting then, or I, was, I wasn't eating that day because I was fasting, type of things like that, that it's like a year's almost passed, and um, it's been a long time. I've been doing the intermittent fasting thing for 230 days today. Was it difficult for me to get started? No. I was so determined at that point in my life that I wanted to lose weight so bad. I had reached a weight that I felt so disgusted with myself and I hated the way I looked when I looked in the mirror and I just felt unworthy and no one should have to feel that way. But living in the society that we do where you're told that you're not beautiful unless you're this size or that size and then on top of that I just wasn't comfortable in my own skin. I felt gross. I didn't feel like I was good enough. I just wanted a change and I was so determined and wanted to try something so bad that it basically hit me the weekend before. I'm gonna start fasting tomorrow and that's what I did and I started and I haven't stopped since some people ask if I get mood swings so I'm assuming they mean do you get hangry because you don't eat and uh, no I don't actually <laughs> I've never really been a huge hangry person so that's never really been a problem for me but I don't get hangry and I don't necessarily get mood swings I mean I'm a female so there's those types of mood swings if that's what you're talking about the last biggest question I get is how did you get into intermittent fasting and honestly the reason that I got into this was because my boyfriend had mentioned that he was kind of doing it himself, just kind of as a way to help balance his lifestyle, if that makes sense at all. I researched it after he told me a little bit about it and thought to myself, fasting, that sounds difficult. I wouldn't want to do that. But I mean, I started and I've done it and I am doing it and it's not as bad as it sounds. A lot of people have told me they don't think that they could do it. They don't think they could go a whole day without eating, but you don't know unless you try. Honestly, you can't discourage something or discredit it just because you don't think you can do it. I know a lot of people say they get headaches or they have low blood sugar and feel like they're going to pass out. And if that's the case, this isn't for you. I'm not a doctor and I'm not telling you to do it and not to do it. I'm telling you that it's worked for me this far and I like it and I'm going to continue doing it for the next five months. So if you've made it all the way through this video, you're probably wondering, okay, how much have you officially lost? And the answer is, I don't know as of today. I can tell you though that on the 5th when I weighed myself, which would have marked 7 months of intermittent alternate day fasting, I had lost 63 pounds. I had gone from a size 16, 18, more of an 18, to a size 12. I'm in a size 12, going down to a size 10, probably as we speak. I was at 236 pounds when I started, and last time I weighed myself, I was at 174. So. That's quite a bit of weight, and I've never been this slow in my life, so that's also a good thing. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. I don't have any other questions that you guys have sent in to me to answer, so if you can think of anything, leave a comment for me down below and I will try to get to them as quickly as I can. You can also message me on Instagram or email them to me. I'll link all the information down below. I'm usually pretty fast at it, but sometimes it does take me a few days, so try not to take it personal that's it guys thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching i really appreciate it please feel free to like this video subscribe leave me a little comment down below no haters please i don't have time for it <laughs> i don't think anybody does in this world today thanks guys for stopping by and watching i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video